Gladiators, are you ready? You should be. You've been asking for it, and here it is. I was reluctant. Gonna be honest, I was reluctant to go into the gladiator stance. I was, pre I was prepared to hate it. I was. I think there's a, before we even get started, let's say why there's little information out about it and why people are kind of umming and ahhing about Gladiator Stance, while some people are extremely excited about Gladiator Stance. There is a very definite divide amongst the player base. I am on the uh, not really overly in <laughs> excited about its side, purely because I it, it didn't need to exist as far as I'm concerned, especially as it is inside the protection talent tree. As a, a classic prot warrior, and I think most tanks will agree, and when I roll protection on my warrior, I like my talent choices to be something to do with tanking. And I don't think that's a weird thing to be asking, is that my talents, when I look at them, especially my level 100 talents, my new exciting things, should be something related to tanking. And unfortunately, Gladiator's Resolve comes in in the level 100 talent is that you can choose to be a dps as a prot warrior and that is how it will rock and roll the rest of your talents remaining the same and they're all dps choices in fact it's got to be said it has to be said that in terms of the talent choices in the protection tree they're all pretty wank in terms of actual tanking right in terms of actual tanking uh, in ways of dealing with stuff they're pretty crappy, but most of the tanks actually have similar situations, so it ain't that bad. It ain't that bad at all. Nothing to really whine about there. So, Gladiator Stance. How does it work? Replaces your Battle Stance if you take it. So you have Defensive and Gladiator Stance. If you go into Gladiator Stance, the big thing you will notice is your Shield Block changes to Shield Charge. Shield Charge. So, the very crux of this spec is keeping your shield charge rolling. It's a self-buff, similar to shield block, that you put on yourself, and while under the effects of shield charge, costs you 20 rage, this bad boy, so very cheap, you can be very uh, liberal with it. Raise your shield and charge a short distance. Very similar to feral charge, uh, school bash, actually, on the guardian druids. Uh, and charge your target, increase the damage of shield slam, revenge, and heroic strike by 45%. For seven seconds. Now, the smarter among you will obviously go, that sounds like Colossus Smash. Yes, it does. If, basically, the way you treat this system is like Colossus Smash. You have these windows of absolute burst where you want to throw as much into it as possible and then roll it on to keep doing it again and again. Now, as it only has a 15 second recharge, and it has a 7 second duration. That means that you can keep it rolling pretty much every... Uh, it's not nowhere near as long as waiting for Colossus Smash. If you know what I mean. The old school style of Colossus Smash. You're not waiting anywhere near that long. And ultimately how it plays is exactly as it says on the tin. You are tanking. You are using your tanking abilities... But you have no aggro. The way of thinking about it is like being the god of off tanks. This is how it feels to play. Because you are, you're tanking. You're using your shield slam. You've got devastate. You've got revenge. You've got all this kind of stuff. But you don't have aggro. Somebody else is doing the tanking. And you're kind of off tanking. But at the same time, you're doing damage. So that's how it plays. Is it competitive? I think this is one of the big things that people are going to ask. Is it competitive? Yes. In fact, at the moment, it's simming very, very high, especially in consistent DPS. It loses out a little bit on burst because it does not have recklessness. That big burst that we can stack on top of other cooldowns. It is balanced around the idea that we don't have recklessness, which means over duration, it actually works out very, very nicely in terms of its DPS as it stands right now. As always with the previews of WAD Beta, bear in mind a patch tomorrow could change the the DPS numbers significantly, so you always have to bear that in mind. How does it feel to play? It takes a little getting used to. It takes a little bit of getting used to, especially if you're going to be doing something like five-man content, because never before, let's be honest, never before have we stepped inside a five-man on a warrior, for any of you who've played them for a very long time, and been wearing a sword and board, and smashing things with shield slam and revenge, and not getting aggro, and actually just trying to look at the DPS meter at the same time. I mean, some of the vengeance sort of th boner throbbing tanks of vengeance days they'll be kind of almost used to that but still having aggro you tend to get a little bit lazy <laughs> i noticed as well because it's such a it's awkward it's a very awkward feeling an awkward sensation it's going to take you a few hours i would say to really get out the mentality that you're not a tank despite the fact that you're looking at your tanking bar the traditional tanking bar. You're looking at the tanking spells. You're seeing them face to, you know, they're facing you right there, but you're not tanking. You're not doing that. 
Which then leads us to the other thing I think people were kind of hoping for Gladiator Sans is can you be an off tank if needed? Which means can I swap over to defensive like a cat can jump into bear and maybe make some magic happen should the tank die? Can I do some of those things? Not really. Not really. Every time it's happened, and it has happened to me several times where, obviously, in Warlords of Draeno, we have very mop-centric tanks who are very overzealous, jumping into things with, um, with uh, lack, of, lack of patience, lack of preparation, lack of knowledge, and therefore getting themselves ground into meat on the floor, doing the old super meat bar in the salt factory, and then suddenly they're dead. And I instinctively, I'm like, okay, I got this, right? Because I've got my tanking stuff with me. I'm here. I've got a fucking shield, bro. I can deal with this. And I'm dead. No, it doesn't quite work out that way. You do get to keep last stand, shield wall, demoralizing shout, which means for a very, very short period of time, you can, in fact, cope with something. But compared to die by the sword or something along those lines... Eh, not really it's not going to get anything done as you lose things like unwavering sentinel and all the big bonuses you get from actually being a tank you lose all that stuff it's gone there's nothing you can do about that whatsoever so it's a little bit on the awkward side to get out of that mentality i know some people were looking at this as like oh this is like when a when a cat jumps into bear or something along those lines and no it's not it really is not. It's not working out that way. You will get your ass handed to you on a silver platter should you attempt to do something along those lines. Now, is it fun to DPS with? Yeah, kind of, actually. It's almost odd to see your DPS numbers go as high as they can do. Now, I don't have a perfect set currently. I could do some more tweaking because the number one stat that gladiators are after is bonus armor. And there aren't great ways of gaining bonus armor in a very quick fashion at the moment on the beta. But if you have a full tanking set, very, very centric around bonus armor, you, I would be able to pull, I would no doubt be demolishing even further than I already am uh, currently in these dungeons. But ultimately, it works out quite well. You still get the great benefits, and this is the real testament to warriors at the wind wall as a drain or is the, you get access to that amazing talent system which allows you to pick and choose stuff like, do I need short-term burst? On one boss, I was switching over to Stormbolt because the rest of the group couldn't interrupt or stun properly. So I was moving over to Stormbolt, then moving back to Dragon Raw. Moving over to Avatar for a straight-up single-target boss, moving back to Bloodbath if I was going to be dealing with ads, Blade Storm if there was a huge AoE, all that kind of stuff. Basically, all you lose out on with Gladiator's Stance in terms of the exceptional talent tree of the Warriors is Ravager. And that's not that bad because you still have Blade Storm. Ravager is, of course, amazing. There's no doubt about that. But Bladestorm is equally as good and it can m match out in that sort of sense. So there's nothing to worry about there. Overall, it works. The big question raised by plenty of warriors, and I think rightly so, is did this need to exist? Warriors already have arms as DPS. They have fury as DPS. Did they need a third style of DPS? And did that need to be buried inside of the protection tanking talent system? I would say no. This was not needed. It's here. It works awesome right if you're going to put it in the game at least make it work was it necessary absolutely not there is no reason whatsoever that there needed to be some sort of tanking dps role there is a very niche niche and i would say ultimately very lazy uh style of person who might be like i am a tank but i'm not the main tank but i absolutely refuse to gain any other sets of gear whatsoever in any form of progress that is a very, very niche type of person who isn't actively or even accidentally picking up some sort of stuff to have a, a basic Fury set or a basic arm set just to keep up with the rest of the group as those specs are working just fine. But ultimately, you can just swap over to Gladiator's Resolve if you're in the middle of a raid, you have no one to replace you and your DPS doesn't, you don't need to be replaced. Your DPS will be absolutely fine as a Gladiator stance because they've balanced it so far reasonably, reasonably, uh, reasonably well compared to everything else so as it stands right now gladiator stance works guys it does its job it does exactly what it's supposed to do it's up there with the other dps specs which is bizarre to see that it seems to be reasonably balanced out in fact and its only downside is a common sense downside of the fact that we have lost another on-demand cooldown which a good player will be able to stack them very nicely with everything else and get good results whereas the gladiator warrior is going to be spreading that out over a lot uh, a longer period of time around about 45 50 seconds something like that and equal and start to see that equal out over a period of time it must say that the damage sources are kind of odd it's it's very much balanced around deep wounds uh that could get very scary very quickly i think blizzard needs to be a little bit careful if it's a dot that can be easily applied to everything is we run into that situation where the more aoe we might see 
And a little theory, a little uh, skepticism here. We might see that Gladiator Warriors, if we have very, very long-standing AoE, and it's so easy to apply, I mean, a Thunderclap can stick your deep wounds going, it's very, very worrying to see that that might actually become the go-to AoE spec, depending on how the others are balanced, because it's just so easy to apply and very difficult to fuck up. And when you have something like that, that's a little bit on the worrying side, yeah? Especially considering Deep Wounds last, what, like 20 seconds, something like that, and just keeps on doing its magic. So... You'll see weird damage sources. You will see things like Shield Slam, obviously, near the top. But once you start doing some AoE, it's going to be that Deep Wounds, which is the real crux carry. Easy to rebalance, no doubt about that. Just tweak the numbers on Deep Wounds. How that will longer term affect the game, I don't know. I don't know. But I think the big message you guys are after is, is it working? Yes, it is. Uh, if you want to do it, if you want to DPS as a prop warrior... If that's what tickles you, I'm not here to say that you are wrong to do that by any means. Uh, you can do that. You can do that and you can have fun with it as well. And obviously, you can then switch over to a tank should you need to be. Just don't expect to be doing it mid-fight. That's not really going to work out well for anyone. All right, guys. There's your gladiator stance. Enjoy.